physics year one is done. My gosh, do I have a lot to say about it. Uh, I am not nervous. Yes, I'm a bit nervous. Okay. Uh, I think the last proper video I made was January, I think. Anyway, end of the first semester, maybe Christmas actually. Um, and a lot has changed. It's now nearly a month after I got results back. It's over a month since exams finished. Um, I'm in a new house. Look at this lovely pink wallpaper, isn't it beautiful? Um, <laughs> I have been dreading making this video, so let's get it over with. I'm doing it anyway because I know I should and it's good for me. And I know that there are people that want to see it. People that actually watch my videos now, which makes it worse. Friends, lecturers, uh, family. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, now this is even more awkward. Yay. I'm also making this video because I know that it helps even a tiny little bit because I've met a handful of you this year who have come up to me on open days or have emailed me or reached out on Twitter and either said that you're doing something similar or that you're coming to university and this video has helped in some way or you're going to do the foundation year. And that's brilliant because that's the main reason I've been making these videos. Um, I hate sitting here and talking to a camera. It's terrifying. Um, it's good for my public speaking. Um, I like making videos and I like editing. Um, but the main reason is because when I was looking at coming back to university, I wanted to know what it was like and what the hurdles and the obstacles were like. Um, and what the structure of the course was like. So I should probably do a video about that at some point. Anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, I'm pleased that it makes a difference at all to the people that have got in touch. So thank you. If you've seen any of my earlier videos this year, you'll know that I really struggled to settle in. Well, the good news is that I made it through. I passed all of my exams. I don't have any resets. I can go on to my second year. I can safely say that I love physics more than ever. Nottingham School of Physics and Astronomy have been incredible. I'm so glad that I experienced all of these difficulties and feeling weird at Nottingham because the people around me are just great. What I didn't know or expect was that my confidence was gonna take such a hit this year. Um, and that's something that I haven't quite embraced yet. And I didn't, didn't realize how much that would affect me. Uh, this is hard to talk about. I didn't anticipate how much that was gonna affect me, especially as I feel quite confident in other aspects of my life. Um, Oh, I'm sociable, I think. I'll, I'll happily go up to people and talk to them. I don't mind standing up in front of an audience. Yes, it's nerve-wracking, but I do it. Um, travel, go to foreign countries, try new things, get involved. But yet, my confidence took a real hit this year. Initially, when I started the semester, and then later on as well, it came back. I asked for help. People offered me help. I reached out, and it didn't make me feel any better. I think I just couldn't really shake the feeling that I didn't belong here, as stupid as that sounds. I was convinced that they'd made a mistake in the admissions process, that the foundation year wasn't actually good enough for me to get onto physics, that, I don't know, that they'd taken pity on me because I wouldn't shut up about wanting to do physics. All of these clearly stupid things that got into my head and made me doubt my ability to be able to learn all of this new brilliant, amazing stuff about physics. All of it is nonsense, of course, but I was consumed by imposter syndrome or whatever it is, and that's what made physics suck. And then I started to feel, I started to feel a little better by Christmas. And then in January, we had January exams. I only had two. They only counted for 10% of the modules, um, but I still put in a lot of effort. I like to think that I put in as much effort for a piece of coursework or a a 10% exam as I would for a 70 or 80% exam. Um, and then I found out in February that I failed them badly, really badly. And that knocked me back down again. I got 17 and a half percent for maths and I got 20% in quantitative physics. And that just confirmed all of my beliefs that I wasn't good enough or that I didn't have the ability because I did fine in foundation year and then here I am failing terribly. I didn't make a video about it because I was terrified. 
So my lecturers offered help, my friends offered help, people in other years offered help. In fact, there was probably too much help. And yet I started to realise that I didn't need help with the academic stuff. Once I got over the confidence issue, I could make headway with, with the work myself or asking the odd question here and there. But it wasn't that I didn't understand the physics, it was that I didn't believe that I could understand the physics, if that makes sense. The funny thing is, I don't believe that people are born with this innate ability to do physics or maths or speak languages or be artists or incredible sports people. Sure, there are some people that, that display this talent from maybe it's a natural ability or whatever. However, I believe that most people have the ability to change that. They can get better at things. I can get better at running. I can get better at drawing. I can get better at cooking. I can get better at speaking a foreign language. And yet I didn't believe that I could get better at maths and physics. There were times when I felt intimidated and so frustrated that I was holding back tears in workshops and problem classes. I remember my friend uh, Daniel, he'd picked up on that I wasn't feeling very good that day and he started singing under his breath in one of the problem classes, don't worry, be happy. And it was really hard not to cry. <laughs> and I've cried in front of some of my lecturers, my personal tutor. Sorry, John. Uh, <laughs> one morning came into the tea room just to ask how I was and I couldn't answer because if I'd answered, there was going to be just tears everywhere. And no one wants that at 9am on a Monday morning. N nothing seemed to work. The more people told me it was just practice um, and that I was brave to do what I was doing, the the more I re sort of rejected that, the more frustrated I became with myself. So what changed? Well, I did start to practice more. I found a great group of friends, a group of postgrads that sort of welcomed me into their world. And you guys are awesome. You know who you are. <laughs> um, I got some of my confidence back. I'm working on building up the rest of it. Uh, the biggest obstacle by far this year has been me. Um, and I didn't expect that, but it's okay. Um, I'm pretty sure there are other people that feel similarly. In fact, I met a, a couple of people towards the end of the year that definitely felt quite similar to me, um, which was great. I mean, I'm sorry that you felt that way, <laughs> but knowing that you're not alone means that it's okay. It means that you are meant to be on the course because if other people feel that way, then surely they, they haven't just made one mistake with you or they can't have made, they can't have let five or six people on the course knowing that they're all gonna fail. None of us failed, by the way. Things became easier. The more I did, the more confident I felt. Um, I still struggled with certain aspects, but I, I now know that I can improve on them next year. I always knew physics was gonna be hard. I always knew the maths was gonna be hard. I mean, I've known that in my entire life. The reason I didn't pursue physics at uh, A level or at university was because I was told it was hard when I was at primary school. And I thought, well, hard means I can't do it. So maybe I've always had that in, stuck in my head somewhere. So yeah, I think the only person who can really help me overcome that obstacle is me, maybe the, the friends around me. I really missed the support that I had in the foundation year. I had Tom and Ferris and Luke who were all in a similar uh, position to me uh, and we really lent on each other and I didn't have that this year and I think that, that was harder. Um, and sure, you know, maybe a few problem classes or drop-in classes where I'd felt less intimidated, maybe a few encouraging words from lecturers here and there, but I think everyone was doing their best and I was doing my best so it, it, ultimately it was down to me. I thought I was going to fail some of my modules, I thought I might fail one Newton to Einstein which had two exams, it was a 40 credit module and I feel like I passed the first exam and then royally stuffed the second one um, and I think I probably did but I did enough ultimately to pass the module entirely. Um, I got 52 in that module, I got 54 in Frontiers, I was disappointed with the exam. I, felt like I did better but it's okay um, and 57 in quantitative physics which means I passed the exam I think when I worked it out um, considering I got 20% in January I'm happy with that um, and then, then I got 72 in maths and I went from 17 and a half percent in the exam to 70 odd in, in the summer exam um, in fact I think I did better in my summer exam in maths this year than I did in my foundation year so that's great. I've pinned up my results by my desk because although they're not necessarily the results I wanted, I should be proud of them. I put in a lot of effort. I really thought I was going to screw them up and I managed to build up my confidence and 
pass and that was the main thing and I know I can improve next year and the more people that I've spoken to about their first years because a lot of people say that you go from A level to first year and the gaps the jump up is not that big most people do fine but then I have spoken to some people that didn't do so well in first year or found first year really difficult um so for, for the majority of people going into first year is not a big deal but for me it was hugely challenging so I guess to finish on a slightly more positive note, I am so happy to be studying physics at Nottingham. Even though this year has been really tough, I uh, wouldn't change it from the world. Maybe all universities are like this, but I think Nottingham is pretty unique. They're very welcoming and supportive and receptive to your comments. And it's a really nice community. And that was probably the most important thing for me coming back to university, leaving a job where I had a really great group of colleagues I was worried that I was going to come back to university and I wasn't going to have that community anymore but Nottingham has that so it's brilliant and I'm really looking forward to the rest of my time here. I am super lucky now because I am working the entire summer um, in the school. I have an internship. I was down in London a couple of weeks ago at the Royal Society summer exhibition helping out with the quantum sensing the brain exhibit that the um, medical physics guys were involved in and cold atoms guys were involved in in fact that's the leaflet there so i did some filming for that some social media for that brian cox was there school children were there i love outreach so that was really really exciting and i will actually get to work in the cold atoms group over the summer doing some simulations on matlab doing some maths getting ready for second year um and yeah i'm just incredibly lucky and it's the environment that i wanted so i'm really 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 pleased so that's why I haven't made a video in forever. I will try and make some more frequently in second year. I'll probably make one about the internship, um, see how that goes. And if you have any suggestions for other videos or things that you'd like me to talk about, please let me know, because I have no idea some of the times I'm just waffling forever. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now and start doing. So, uh, bye.